This video will show you how to access Quizlet.com, which is a website that students can use to practice and study their vocabulary words. So the first thing I'll do is go to the school website, StaffordSchools.org, and then you're going to select McKinley Avenue School. Once you get to the McKinley Avenue webpage, you're going to head on over to Teacher Pages and scroll until you find Lindsay Hackbar. Once you've gotten to this page, this is my class webpage. And if you look on the left hand column over here, if you click on vocabulary and spelling, it brings you to a list of all of the lessons from 1 to 30 through our Storytown textbook, our reading textbook this year. And for each of the lessons, there are vocabulary words. So if we were working on Ruby the Coffee Cat Lesson 1, you would click the link. It's going to ask you if you want to leave the school website. Click Accept. And now you are on Quizlet.com. So this website has a couple of different options that you can use to practice vocabulary words, study the words, and get to know them better. Um, if you look, the title of the lesson will be at the top, and then these are your flashcards. And there's a couple different options. You can go to cards right here. Pleasant. Something enjoyable and makes you happy. And it'll bring you to a flashcard that um, gives you the word and the definition. Now, you can change a couple of things about this. You can turn the talk off. Okay. You can um, start with the word, and then you would click see the other side to see what the definition is or you can have just the definition and then guessing the word. You can shuffle the words around um, and this way you can kind of get to know the words. You're not memorizing them in order but you're more so learning the words. If you go back to the main page another thing that you can do is you can learn the words and you can again have different options. Murmur. So you would then type um, your answer for. Murmur. You would type that word in here, and it could either give you the definition or the word, and it'll help you study the words. When you were excited about something and talked a lot about it. It also gives you how many questions you got correct or incorrect to help you kind of track your assessment. Over here we have a test which provides you with a couple of different question types which you can also change depending on what you want and you can also start with either the term, the definition, or both. And this is a good way of just testing how well you actually know the words, using them in a sentence, using the definitions, true or false, just multiple ways to assess whether or not you know the words. You can also print that test to do it on paper and pencil depending on what you're more comfortable with. Other things that you can do, you can play with the words right here. You can decide, do you want the term first? Do you want the definition first? Do you want it to talk to you? Something enjoyable and makes you happy. And then you can click to get Pleasant. the answer. You can make them larger. You can when shuffle you try, them around. Try to do something and cannot. So you have a lot of different options in order to learn the words. Some things that are kind of fun to do with the words are the games. The first game called Scatter has the definitions and the words scattered across the page and you have to match them together. So if you were really excited about something and talked a lot about it, you would gush. So you'd put it right on top of each other and it goes away. Now this is a timed game so you can um, have your child do it once and then maybe have them do it again and see if they know the words faster. Um, another game option you have is called race and in this game you have to type the word as the definition comes across. So then it would go away. The only thing with this game is you have to be able to spell the words correctly or else it doesn't work. And we don't necessarily, we aren't looking for the vocabulary words to be spelled correctly. We're more so looking that you understand what they mean. Another option that you have is you can print out the flashcards for the vocabulary words. You can export a copy of it um, to have on paper. And this is just a really good resource that students can use to practice the words on their own and to assess whether or not they're ready for the test. 